let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. Dr. Leslie Remsemi, who is also the chairman of the CARICOM Community Council for Human and Social Services, has called on all regional governments to provide medical services to its citizens. Speaking at a conference in Georgetown, Guyana, Ramsemi said that there was an obligation on the part of the governments to offer cost-free health care to all of its citizens of CARICOM. He pointed out that 90% of all health services in Guyana were obtained through public health sector, and he said that free health care is accessible to anyone who needs it. Other regional governments should do likewise and disclose that each member of the states of CARICOM invest about 10% of its national budget into health. And in Cuba, the Cuban government has reportedly made some sweeping changes at closed-door meetings of the ruling Communist Party. With Raul Castro widely expected to take over from his brother Fidel as the party's first secretary, all eyes will be on the section of the number two spot, which could signal the possible successor. Delegates approved about 300 economic proposals in a unanimous vote on Monday, including measures that apparently recommends the legalization of the buying and selling of private property. Also on the table was the proposals eventually to eliminate the monthly rational book, which provides Cubans with a basket of healthy subsidized food and other goods. Other measures envisioned approved seed capital for would-be entrepreneurs and eliminating the island's unique dual currency system. The economic policy, which follows the principle that only socialism can preserve the victories of the revolution, stated Marino Morello, a former economic minister in charge of implementing the reforms. It is reported that Raul Castro will make an announcement very soon on a broadcast television station to the members of the Communist Party about the new package proposals. And in Haiti, Haiti's president-elect Michael Martelli is scheduled to leave Haiti on Tuesday for a visit to the United States. A statement from his office said that Martelli, who will assume office on May 14th, will meet with U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and the heads of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. This statement said that his focus will be on job creation, education, security, reconstruction, and health. Martelli said that his visit will also allow him to reiterate his message that the government will focus its efforts and energy on reconstruction, boosting the economy, and ensuring that Haitian children have access to basic education. And finally tonight in San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's come to our attention that Augusto Marin, one of Puerto Rico's best-known painters and muralists, has died. He was 89 years old. Marin whose work was found throughout Puerto Rico, from museum walls to suburban shopping centers, died Thursday at a hospital in San Juan of complications of a lung infection. He had been hospitalized since Sunday. Governor Luis Fortuna ordered the flags of the island lowered at half-staff for three days to mark the death of an artist considered one of the leading painters of Puerto Rican history. This Caribbean report is brought to you by MLK Tires, keeping you rolling right. And that's a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. And some four-year med students were on island to talk to us a little bit about youths and underage drinking. News Channel 8's Wes Small visited with them. Thanks a lot, Jerome, and happy Easter. This is a win-win situation. I'm here with Pastor Wilmoth James, and he's here with some fourth-year med students that have got some important information about underage drinking and the fact that they're going to be in our territory for a few days having some seminars and exercises and workshops all about our health and about the evils of drinking and so forth. All right, happy Easter, Pastor. And boy, I'm, I'm so happy that you brought these um, fourth year med students, soon to be doctors, uh, down to educate us. Yeah, it's a delight to have them here, coming all the way from uh, Loma Linda Medical University and down to the St. Croix to join with the community here in uh, providing medical care and education in regards to healthful living. And the Sunday the Adventist Church, I've been back with them in regards to the drive around the age drinking throughout the Virgin Islands. And we're delighted to have them at this time. All right, well, let's start off with you then. Um, pretty lady, please tell us um, your name and, and what y'all have planned for our territory. All right, my name is Tabitha Abraham. I'm also from Loma Linda University with all of these ladies behind me. Um, we're medical students and we're here to talk about alcohol um, use and motor vehicle accidents related to um, alcohol use and underage drinking. Um, each year about uh, one-third of motor vehicle accidents that result in fatalities are due to alcohol use. Um, and um, the majority of those are drinkers that age from 21 to 34. 
So we realize that it's a prevalent problem all over the U.S. as well as in the Virgin Islands. Um, and we'd like to address those issues this weekend. Thank you. And, uh, doctor, soon to be doctor, your name is? Thank you. My name is Sarah Hess. Um, I am a fourth year medical student as well. Um, as we're here on the island, we're going to be working in some of the clinics throughout the island, helping provide medical care to different people on the island, as well as providing some health education talks on um, lifestyle, diabetes, sexually transmitted diseases, and alcohol. Um, we saw that alcohol is definitely something that plagues the Virgin Islands, um, especially in our underage um, youth and it's just important for people to be educated in the effects of what seems to be harmless and how it can really impact their body long term. I think many youth don't realize that by starting drinking um, in their teens that they are limiting the growth of their brain because the brain's not fully developed till they're 21 and so an area of the brain called the hippocampus which helps control our memory and our learning isn't developed until we're 21 so by drinking at a younger age, they're limiting the growth of that, and so they're limiting um, the potential of their brain to actually be learning what they're needing to learn and remember things. So it really does have a long-term detrimental impact on their health. Well, all in all, um, we're really lucky to have these uh, fourth-year med students here, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of them uh, open up a practice here. They might just fall in love with our territory. I think, though, that you're going to find that our youth are very educated, and thanks to the public service announcements that you do see by Law Enforcement Planning Commission and so forth on uh, Channel 8 shows and so forth, that we do have a very educated youth here, and I, I think you all will be surprised, and pleasantly so, that they are educated about the evils of alcohol abuse. I want to thank you and your group then you pastor much. james thank you all right and y'all have a good easter and um spend some good time here y'all are going to have a ball here trust me and welcome to the virgin islands and thank you um for coming and, and helping us out all right all right everyone have a good easter please don't drink and drive all right and look for them they'll be having their outreach um symposiums and seminars uh coming to an area near you happy easter everyone I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And we want to thank those medical interns for their insight tonight and hope that there are some kids out there that heed those warnings. And now, as always, it's time to present the Weekend Entertainment Report. Here's Bogo. Thank you very much, everyone. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to the Easter edition of the Entertainment Report, a very long Easter weekend. Of course, we've got to tell you about a lot of things that's going on. We're going to start off with Thursday night. Definitely got to go to 2 Plus Night Club. It's all about DJ Swain and DJ Beige. It's all about the old school party, getting you engaged for all those selfish and dumpling and dukkan that you're going to eat on Good Friday. And then on Good Friday, from 12, go down until 6 in the morning at H2O. It's all about Daddy Mingo's Big Birthday Bash. Featuring DJ Eddie, the Mad Rasters, so you're going to have the camp with Poppy Pops and Chubby. And of course, you're going to have DJ Big Tone. You're going to have Daddy Jones and Co. And Pumpa and much, much more. So you definitely got, on, got to go down to H2O and celebrate with Daddy Mingo. And then we're going to move off to Saturday. Definitely you want to check out Saturday at Crusaders. It's a fundraising event at the Crusaders nightclub. Music by DJ Original and DJ Puma. That's Saturday, April 23rd. Tickets are just $10. It happens from 9 p.m. until come out and be a part of this worthy, worthy cause. All right? And then, of course, Saturday night also, you're looking some place to go. You got to come back to H2. I'm telling you. Come back to H2O. It's all about the karaoke with Dean Hodge. MC Bogle is going to be there. Trust me. Karaoke, you want to come and you want to hear me sing, you want to see me sing and perform, come to karaoke this Saturday. It promises to be off the chain. All right, and this Sunday, you definitely got to check out the Sunday Night Line. Sunday Night Line happening at 2 Plus Night Club. You're going to have DJ Carl, Selector Cup, Big Cat Sound, MC Bogle. You definitely got to come and check it out. It's the Easter weekend edition, all right? We're going to be partying to the wee hours of the morning. Ladies, come on out and get your Easter eggs cracked. All right? So definitely come on out to the 2 Plus Night Club. And then we'll go on and tell you about Saturday, April of Saturday, 30th of April, you got to come to the new drive-in. It's all about the man coming from Trinidad, none other than Patch. He's going to be bringing the pipe there. So you definitely got to come and check it out. You're going to have the Mad Rast Terracy. You're going to have DJ Slick, Double Impact Song with Will and Sniper. Definitely, it's going to be off the chain for the first time, the man Patch. 
and then we're going to tell you about something happening on Saturday, May 15th at the drive-in. It's all about Baby Sham, and they're coming to the drive-in, of course, to have a nice, nice concert. Remember, Baby Sham is considered to be the best dancehall singer, pound for pound. He has recorded so much hits with so many different artists from on the international scene, too numerous to mention. So if you want to see Baby Sham, mark it down. May the 15th, Saturday, May the 15th at the drive-in. Please come and check this one out. All right? Definitely, of course, Sinkis Music Fest is in the air, June 23rd to the 25th. Also, we're waiting on the word from the BVI Music Festival. We hear that they have a good card, but we need confirmation from them. So definitely, but the Sinkis Music Festival is in the air. Please book your tickets and also get your hotel rooms, get everything in gear to go down, down to Sugar City Sinkis. I want to thank you for joining me on the Entertainment Report. Remember, it's a long weekend. Slow down on the driving, and if you drink, just don't drive. Stay away from violence. Let's keep it peacefully. Back to you, Jerome. Thanks, Bogo. And Easter weekend races are coming up next in your Sports 411. And tonight in your Sports 411, we've got holiday horse racing. And Dennis Brow joins Stephen Koo Francis to tell us all about it from Traxco. Racing fans, we're here with Dennis Brow, the big man for Traxco. And this Easter, we have Easter races, um, the warm up before the Governor's Cup. Tell us about who's on the card, Dennis. Well, let me tell you, we have big, big races coming up for Easter weekend. Don't miss it. This is a prep for the dip, as they would say, because these horses are prepping for carnival races. But not only this, that this is our big Easter race. We got the Raja Rabbit. Mr. Bates is getting ready to prepare himself for carnival, but he has some very good competitive horses going up against him. For example, political reporter, he's in town from the June stables and they're tough. He's out of Puerto Rico. Can he stop the big Bates? And then you have Walk the Catwalk. He's going to give a shot at it. And hey, he's a very competitive horse. He will be there in the mix. And of course, you have Aries Run. That is the Raja Rabbit. And then we have the Easter Bonnet. Ladies, we haven't forgotten you. We have the Easter Bonnet. Finish in style. That's the big horse here in the Virgin Islands as far as a female division is concerned. Who will take her down? Can anyone do it? Come and see it for yourself. It's a one mile. And then the native group, always competitive. De Nero, Creation Rebel, and a host of others going a mile. You cannot miss this. This is going to be big. It's $10 for the adults. It's $4 for the children. Lots of fun, lots of enjoyment, good food, good music, good everything. Do not miss it. It's Easter, Easter, Easter. The post time is 1 p.m. And we're kicking it off with 10 exciting races. 10 races so you have a lot of enjoyment it's going to be a long fun day nice sunny weather is expected so come and see the horses put on a show okay um dennis um while well, i've got you here man um the governor's cup is coming up man um any any horse over here that uh, you have um you know about that'll be definitely taking part in um the st thomas races well this the crucian have el real madrid again that's big baits and his big bad horse he will be taking on a, a, a host of others in the Governor's Cup. They're coming in from Tatola and St. Thomas and Mr. Bates and El Real Madrid is representing the Big Island. And also we have Puerto Rican Emblem. He's going over there to challenge for that Governor's Cup as well. But you know what? Besides that, the Crucian are taking 16 horses. I mean, we're invading in a big way. And it's inter-island races at its best. So let's see who's going to take the Governor's Cup. My money is on El Real Madrid. Thanks, Koof. And when we come back from this break, we'll take a look at your holiday weather report. Stay with us. <laughs> 